Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Six Shadows, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a compact 2x1 base design featuring a forge, a smithy, fabricator, and a vault. The new vault changes are in guys, and it's absolutely amazing for a solo player. We can now have our hidden bases, and we can also put a vault in it. So as you can see here, they've got a vault at the back, got your forge and smithy, two pestles, and up here is your fabricator which can be accessed through the trap door. So yeah, it's gonna look something like this. Let's get into the build. Hope you guys enjoy the video. All right guys, before we get started with the build, a list of resources you'll need for this build are now listed on the screen. There'll also be a link in the description to the list. So guys, this is probably the perfect starter build, I'd say. And before you jump down my throat and say, how can it be a starter build if it has a vault? You can build everything else first and then build the vault later and drop the vault later. So first up, put down your two foundations. Next up, I like to place my bed because it makes the smithy easier to place. And you want to place your bed here along the doorway, which is where the doorway will be. Place as many as you want. I'm just going to place three for the video purposes. Next up, get out your smithy, jump into K mode, and you're going to want it close to the wall, but not too close so you won't be able to put your walls on. And you want the circle part close to the bed. So this is looking good. It's not specific. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> So just like that, if you can put walls on the outside, it should be fine, right? Just like that. Next up, we're going to want to get out the forge. So for the forge placement, you can see here what this line where the two foundations join. It's going to want to get your forge out and place it just over the line. There we go. It's looking good. It's a pretty easy build. You can't really mess it up. So guys, I'm going to go into fly mode here. For you guys, you have to build thatch, like a thatch building next to it and stand on it. I'm just going to fly to make it easier for the video. So chuck down your metal trapdoor. Get out your fabricator. Place it over the trapdoor. There we go. That's looking good. Okay. Put your walls around the outside of the fabricator. All the way around. Okay. Uh, chuck a ceiling on this side Then you're gonna want to get out your thatch pull out a thatch wall put it up the side here Get out a thatch ceiling Chuck it over here above the fabricator I'm gonna have to fly up again. You guys will have to build another ceiling here opposite it Okay, get out your vault for you guys that have never dropped a vault before if you destroy whatever the vault is uh, standing on then the vault will fall down. So our purpose here is to make it fall down and cover the smithy and forge. So it's not exact. Basically, you just want it like something like this on the smithy side, not the forge side, and just somewhere like not hanging out of your base. So that's looking good. Turn off my cheats. <laughs> Demolish the thatch wall and make sure you're not standing in here or you will get crushed by the vault and stuck inside of it. Demolish the thatch wall. The vault will fall down. It looks like it got destroyed, but I, I promise it didn't. Put your metal ceiling on top. And here we go. In here, we got the vault. Can access it. Can access the smithy. Can access the forge. And now you're going to get out your uh, metal trapdoor. Chuck that on. Now, a lot of people think that the metal trapdoors are broken for accessing the smithy. And I'd probably say <laughs> you're correct. It is literally the most annoying thing in the game right now. So it's quite a struggle to access your fabricator. Obviously you'll get used to it the more like you're inside your base. There's only like a, like a small sliver of like place you can target. So it's easier if you open the trapdoor upwards like this. And it's often to the side. So you see mine is here. I can access the fabricator right there. But like, like anywhere else. <laughs> it's really hard to access so pretty much just like memorize where you can access it from and then yeah I'm sure you'll get used to it chuck another ceiling down just over here and yeah tuck down some pestles I'm not sure how many you can fit I just probably two you could probably fit one here as well put the door on now when I was testing this build out, I was desperately trying to fit two forges inside. And I actually did manage to do it, 
Uh, where's the doors? Oh, here they are. I did manage to fit two forges, but it took me about 12 tries. So 12 volts. If you have 12 volts to spare, you can give it a go. You can actually fit another forge here by moving this one back a little bit. But it's very difficult. I recommend just sticking to the one. Stick to this design here. It's a nice little starter base. So as you can see, the fabricator is really hard to access, but it can be done. And yeah, that's it for the build, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think it's pretty good for something that's going to be hidden. I love to stay hidden. I don't like to build turret. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the video, guys. I'm going to quickly jump to uh, another build I did. The same one as this, but I built it in a hidden location. Just to show you guys what it looks like. And yeah, let's get to it. Alright guys, so here's another one that I built. It's the same design. I just built it in one of my starter locations to see how well it would be hidden. And I'm quite happy with it. It's hidden pretty well here and it's right next to metal within walking distance to metal nodes. Uh, for anyone interested in the location, it's at 40.7 and 32.2. And if you're looking for more hidden base locations, check out my previous video on hidden base locations for the island. I covered my fa five favorite ones. But yeah, I'm quite happy with how the build turned out, guys. Let me know in the comments if you're happy with the nerfs to flyers and the changes to vaults. And as always, if the video did help you out, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I do a lot of videos like this based around solo players, so base builds and base location videos, things like that. And yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.